Hello, this is the Vermont Department of Environmental Conservation. Today, we would like to discuss rain gardens, what they are, their purpose, and how you can create one in your own backyard. To begin, we will explain what is a rain garden. A rain garden is a bowl-shaped garden area that is landscaped with specific vegetation to capture and absorb precipitation also known as storm water. Usually, the plants used are perennial flowers and native vegetation to better soak up the rainwater. These may only look like gardens, but they are actually strategically planned and located in certain areas that best absorb the excess water. Usually, rain gardens are built near impervious surfaces like roofs, streets, and sidewalks. After a storm, rain gardens fill with a few inches of water, and then the water filters and percolates into the ground instead of entering a storm drain. These gardens can absorb many things that are harmful to our water, like sediment, bacteria from animal waste, oil, grease, pollutants like nitrogen and phosphorus, and heavy metals that could eventually harm our waterways. The gardens not only capture pollutants, but they also can recharge the groundwater at a rate of 30% greater than a typical lawn. With the increase in impervious surfaces in our world, it is very important that we control the excess rainwater and protect the water quality. If stormwater runoff is not controlled, it can increase flooding and carry pollutants from our streets to our streams, lakes, and rivers. Rain gardens are an innovative and eye-catching way to make our cities and neighborhoods more aesthetically pleasing while also improving the ecological health of the area. Now we will explain how you can design and plan a rain garden in your own backyard. First, you must decide where the best location for your rain garden should be. Usually, rain gardens must be able to intercept runoff from impervious areas. Anywhere that is away from building foundations and septic tanks that also has good soils that allow for percolation can be ideal areas to build your garden. Once you have identified your location, then you must determine the size of your rain garden. Rain gardens are usually 10 to 20 percent of the size of the impervious surface that is generating the water runoff. Start by measuring the square footage of the impervious area by multiplying length times width, then multiply the result by 0.1 or 10 percent. This can help create a rain garden that best fits your site. The third step involves soil and garden depth. A typical rain garden is between 6 and 9 inches deep. Once you dig your hole, you must identify whether the soil type will be best for infiltration. The best type of rain garden soil should be 40 to 60 percent sand because it has the fastest infiltration rate. It also should be 10 to 20 percent compost material and one inch of topsoil on the surface. The clay content of the soil should be very low. If you can grab a handful of soil and roll it together to form a ribbon, the soil is too clay-like and another location should be chosen. Finally, the last step consists of choosing your vegetation. They should not only be aesthetically pleasing, but should be some young native plants that are chosen for their structure and height. Maintenance is very important and rain gardens must be watered regularly and weeding should occur during the first two seasons. If you would like more information about rain gardens, you can visit the Vermont Department of Environmental Conservation's website at www.watershedmanagement.vt.gov. Thank you.